Hey, what's up guys? PPG Gorilla checking in. Oh man, it's been busy. It's been a whirlwind. Sun and fun was incredible. Uh, we talked to a lot of people, made a lot of new friends, did a bunch of tandem rides, did a little bit of carrying on and having fun, but uh, it's always a good time. For flight sports, had a new student, Cameron, get up for his first flight this morning. And we got something new to talk about here. Uh, while we were at Sun and Fun, a friend asked us to uh, pick up this paramotor and take it home for him because he was stuck out of the country and couldn't make it, so he did. And uh, wow, I got my hands on this thing. I really like it. These people think this is an airport. But anyway, this is the Evo Rebel from Evo Aviation. So uh, we carried this home for him and I got to look at it and I said, man, that's pretty sexy, actually. Um, Evo Aviation, they're uh, made in uh, Bulgaria, in Europe. We're um, full titanium frame, aluminum swing arms. This one has a Dudek power seat comfort, which is my absolute favorite harness. Good for bigger guys like me. And I really like that uh, the Dudek harness has the rake whistle on it, so. If I touch you inappropriately during training, you blow that and nobody comes running. But anyway, this one has the uh, factory R set up on it. Man, it's just, it's just dead sexy. Look at that factory R with the polished pipe. I like it. This particular one is in uh, the blue trim. So we have a um, uh, aluminum subframe here, a motor plate titanium spars and titanium frame. It's, uh, it's pretty light. I haven't put it on, a, on the scale yet, but I plan to. Um, this is a 17 liter fuel tank. You see you got 10 liters up to there, and then you have the additional uh, up top here. So the fuel fill is up here, which is interesting, rather than down at the bottom where it's hard to get to. I kind of like that. Your uh, fuel primer here is integrated into the tank. So you just push the release like normal and um, just like that. Pretty neat, pretty neat idea. So that fuel being up high and close to your back like that really makes this thing uh, comfortable to carry the weight. Um, I'll put it on a scale. On, I'll put it on a scale or I'll post on here the actual weight of the, uh, the all-out paramotor empty. So anyway, I did a, made a couple of calls and did a couple of emails, and now we are an importer for Evo Aviation. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Um, this one's available for sale with the Factory R, or of course it's available with the standard uh, Moster 185 Plus or the Atom 80. So guys, check out their website. One of the things I like, they got a great website where you can go and see all the specifics about the paramotors and look at the good pictures. It's motopara.com I'll place a link down there in the description but uh, yeah we're pretty excited to be a part of the team oh yeah it also has the replaceable net here um, without 78 rivets to have to drill it has the uh, uh, I guess it's some, like a parajet the whole net comes off just like that and attached um, and the net is affordable uh, so that's very nice all right, guys, I'm pretty psyched about these units. I'm, uh, we're going to get a few of them in here pretty soon. Uh, I'll obviously probably try to fly some or let some of the guys demo them, and uh, we'll probably put one in the training lineup, maybe a uh, Moster 185 Plus or maybe an Atom 82. So, all right, guys, hit it up, motopara.com. Hit, hit us up at ppggorilla.com, and uh, look for us at Bad Apples. We'll probably have uh, have this one or one of these with us there that uh, you can check out and for sale, of course. I'm gonna be bringing the APCO F5 Mohawks with me. I have a, a large and a medium that you can demo if you want. We have a few of those in stock. Um, I've flown it a few times and let a few of my guys fly it and everybody's been pretty impressed with it so far. The verdict is still out whether the F5 is gonna be a school wing or not. It comes with 2D steering tied in. And they do have the option of a school riser set that's a uh, simplified riser set without speed bar and um, 
short trims and no 2D steering, no, no tip steering. So may make a good school lane yet, we'll see. All right guys, hit us up, see you at Bad Apples. Peace.